Most network administrators, system administrators, and power users use the ping command in order to determine if a remote machine is up and if that machine is responding. And that works pretty good most of the time. It tells you they're up and it also indicates the round trip time or the latency between your machine and their machine. However, some machines do block the ICMP ping. And in those cases, you can sometimes use a TCP ping. So basically send TCP packets instead of ICMP packets. So what does that mean? How does that work? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at some scenarios. So I have right here a machine. And if I want to ping Google, I can type ping google.com and it sends over the ICMP packets and then they go over there and come back and I can see the round trip time is about seven milliseconds. So that's kind of nice. All right, if I want to ping something like mit.edu over on the east coast I can do this ping and it shoots all the way over to Akamai Technologies and I get 17 milliseconds which is really interesting because I'm on the west coast and it goes all the way over to the east coast and it's 17 milliseconds that seems pretty fast so I say well maybe I ping something at MIT so you do ping cs.mit.edu maybe they're not working with akamai technologies to have their stuff up and i can see that instead of it being the ip address up here the 104.86.4.124 it's actually 18.25.0.23 which actually makes more sense but also i sent 19 packets and nothing came back which means something somewhere along the way is getting lost. Let's clear that. So let's try something else. So I'm going to ping Harvard. Uh, Harvard.edu. And I ping it, and it's three milliseconds. And I'm on the West Coast. Harvard is on the East Coast. Three milliseconds seems really fast to me. That's probably not actually Harvard. It's probably something like Akamai Technologies or something else. So you cs.harvard.edu. And it's got a completely different IP address again. So that's interesting, but they're not responding. So where are they? So I'm going to try to use a TCP ping tool. And for that, I'm going to go to GitHub. And there is github.com slash Joseph Colton slash TCP ping. So I'm going to go to the code section right here. And I'm going to copy this URL. So it's https slash github.com slash Joseph Colton slash tcping.get. Copy that. All right. Go move that out of the way. And I am in a nice temp directory. And I'm going to go ahead and, well, download it. So I'll do get clone. And I will paste that right there. And I'm going to then clone the repository. So it downloads the repository. I've got it. And I can go into the repository. Right here, TCP ping. And I can see there are a bunch of files. And one of these files is the make file, which I can then use to make things. It usually has instructions. You can see the instructions really quickly. Right here, it's basically just saying how to build it. That's it. And I can also look at the code if I want. Uh, TCP ping dot C. And I can see all the code in order to do the TCP ping. So it seems like a lot of code, but it's actually not that much code. All right. So I go ahead and do the make command. And if I have my GCC compiler, it just compiles it. And then I have this TCP ping. And I can see now TCP ping. I can use the one in the local directory, which is slash TCP ping right here. And let's try google.com. And I can see that it's got the seven, eight milliseconds, the same kind of times I was seeing with the regular ping. And now I'll try TCP ping to, let's see, mit.edu. And it does some weird number. It seems like every time I hit MIT, it's some random number. This time it's a, uh, 200 milliseconds last time it was like 18 if i try it again let's see what happens it's 
still picking the same number. If I try pinging it with a rayer ping, it's picking the same, no, a different number. Very strange. Anyway, um, Akamai Technologies. Now if I want to try the TCP ping for cs.mit.edu. That one is actually hitting MIT's server right there in the CS department. And you can see this is normally about what you expect from the west coast to the east coast, about 74. And then I try a TCP ping for harvard.edu. And I can see it's three milliseconds, which is clearly not right. So it must be pit hitting something local. And cs.harvard.edu is getting 67, which actually seems to be correct. Um, the TCP ping tool, if I were to use it, TCP ping by itself, you can get some quick little things here. So I can see uh, counts, port numbers, and other things like that. So if I wanted to do TCP ping to count five, google.com, I could just ping five pings instead of doing that. And maybe I don't want to do port 443, I could pick a different number. Anyway, that is a quick little overview of using a TCP ping. And there you go. Hope you have fun.